Now to another new development tonight in our investigation of alleged mismanagement of government property at the Mount Sterling Police Department. As LAX 18's Lee Searcy reports, the Kentucky Attorney General's office is now looking into the matter days after the department was suspended from a military program used by hundreds of law enforcement agencies across the country. We reported earlier this week that the Mount Sterling Police Department has been suspended 90 days from a military program that loans weapons and equipment to law enforcement for police use only. The suspension came after our story with Michael Johnson, who told us and Kentucky State Police that Mount Sterling Police Sergeant Jason Perry owed him money for an ATV and gave him a rare upper receiver from an M16 rifle to settle a debt. Johnson claims he found out later the receiver was for police use only when Perry wanted it back. I received a text message that uh, they were doing inventory and he needed it back for inventory. Once that was over, I would receive it, he would get it straight back to me. In this 15-page report, Kentucky State Police documented one other message Perry allegedly sent to another man wanting a gun part back for inventory purposes. We have been trying for several weeks now to reach Sergeant Perry for comment, but he has still not returned our calls. Today we learned the Kentucky Attorney General's office is moving in. A deputy communications director sent an email stating, our Office of Special Prosecutions has received an official request from Commonwealth's Attorney Ronnie Goldie Jr. to appoint a special prosecutor in the investigation of Mount Sterling Police Officer Jason Perry. We have assumed jurisdiction and we are looking into this matter. While Sergeant Perry hasn't talked to us, he disputes Johnson's claims in this KSP investigation report. In it, he says he did give Johnson the receiver, but claims it had nothing to do with owing him money. Perry stated that he told Johnson the upper belonged to the department and that they couldn't get rid of them or sell them. He called the complaint a civil matter. Lee Searcy, LEX 18 News. In a letter to the Mount Sterling Police Department, the state coordinator for the military program said the 90-day suspension may be lifted if the department implements measures for better accountability of the weapons.